Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my morning skincare routine and this skincare routine is completely revamped and I have all new products that I'm using now that I have delivered a baby because there are many ingredients and many actives that I can't use in my skincare because I'm breastfeeding like retinol and many other anti-aging um, ingredients. So do keep on watching if you have just delivered a baby or you just want to follow my skincare routine. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, then hi, I'm Sanya and I make beauty, lifestyle, fashion and mommy related videos. If you like what you see, do consider subscribing, do like this video, share it and do follow me on Instagram. My handle is right here. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Step one in my skincare routine would be washing my face. Now to wash my face, I use this simple uh, face wash and it's called the Simple Refreshing Facial Wash, 100% soap free. So soap free for me is very important because when you have soap in your uh, face wash, it can be very uh, harsh on your skin. It can strip out all the oil. So you want to buy a face wash that is uh, soap free. Also, this is a very gentle face wash. So it's great for your morning skincare routine. So I've already washed my face now with the simple face wash. So we'll now move on to our next step, which is toning. For toning, I have two options for you. One is the uh, green, green tea chalk chalk watery skin toner by Tony Molly that was a handful and the other option is um, pure rose water by the brand Shesha Naturals. You can choose whichever toner you want of course both of them are great options and they do have different benefits. Now if you're a beginner in skincare and you want something really hydrating for your face then I would go with the uh, pure rose water not that the green tea one is not but I think this is a great option if you're a beginner and you're just starting out into your skincare routine this is even great for teenagers who you know don't want to put like too many uh, you know products on their face and they just want to spritz this all over their face so this is what I use when I want to hydrate my skin to a great extent and if you have sensitive or acne prone skin this green tea one is a great option uh, however, this is a little pricey. I got this on sale and when the sales are out, Tony Molly always has a sale on Nykaa so you can always get this one. It's very nice. So today I'm going to be using the green tea uh, toner. I have my cotton pad here. This is something that you get in any local store. So you just take, I'll take around three pumps of this and then just very gently pat it on my face now you don't want to be too harsh when you're doing this step because you can cause friction and spoil your skin quality also go over your neck for any skincare that you do so what a toner actually does it's meant to balance the pH of your skin and it also uh, you know adds a little bit of moisture after the face has been washed and at times the face wash can kind of strip your skin of the oils and stuff even though it might be a gentle face wash so just to uh, bring back a little more hydration that's what the toner does so the next step in my skincare routine is using a serum now in the day i use different serums and in the night i use different serums the serum that i use in the day is the dear claire's one it's the freshly juiced vitamin drop it's basically a vitamin C um, serum. It's uh, the percentage of vitamin C in this is 5% and it's a very good serum. I've been using this since almost a month and a half and I've really uh, started seeing the results already. Now, let me tell you that serums, uh, they don't show immediate results. And if there is any brand which is selling you a product which says that you will get overnight skin or in a very short time you'll get the results, then of course, you know, that's not true. It takes skincare, any skincare product takes like at least a minimum one month to two months to start showing results. So the reason why I started using a vitamin C product is because after I delivered, I noticed that my skin was very dull. And because I was having sleepless nights, uh, of course, because of putting the baby to sleep and feeling and everything, my skin had just was just not in its best at its best. Uh, so that is why I started using the vitamin C product. It does have brightening properties. There's a lot of benefits of vitamin C brightening. It can, you know, start uh, working with your dark spots. And if you have any concerns like that, where your skin is dull, there are dark spots and, you know, overall, you just want to improve the quality of your skin, then vitamin C is a great product. 
it also helps with sun damage so how i use this is basically it has this dropper like packaging and it's a clear bottle so the good thing about vitamin c is that uh, if it's in a clear bottle you need to first of all keep it in a cool dry place and a dark place preferably because if it comes in contact with the sun's rays like direct sun rays it can spoil the vitamin c and it's going to turn yellow now if your vitamin c is slightly like a very light tinge of yellow that's fine but if it turns a dark yellow like a darker shade of yellow then your vitamin c has oxidized and it you should immediately stop using it so what i do is i take like two drops of these on my hands just rub it a little between my fingers and then just tap it in don't like rub it it's always good to tap your serum in little bit rubbing is fine just to spread it and then i just pat it like that and push the product into my skin now one thing about vitamin c is that you can't just use vitamin c and wear your moisturizer and go on with your day because see vitamin c is uh, an antioxidant serum and it will oxidize and it can cause a you know sunburn on your skin if uh, you don't accompany it with uh, your sunscreen later okay so after your moisturizer and all the your last step has to be sunscreen because if you don't wear sunscreen and you wear vitamin c and you go out into the sun or even if you live in a house where there's a lot of sunlight like mine then your skin barrier and your entire skin can get damaged so please just tread with caution now my next step in my skincare routine is using my eye cream now the eye cream that i've been using is the 5% caffeine under eye serum by the dermaco now what this essentially does is because it contains caffeine the caffeine helps with the dark circles that i am really dealing with right now it's gotten a uh, it's gotten much better right now but at first it was like pretty bad like because i'm not used to seeing dark circles on my skin because i used to uh, get a pretty good night sleep and everything but lately because i've not been sleeping too much uh the dark circles have kind of started uh, you know coming a lot more now that there's where the dermaco helps and i think this again is a great product it has helped to lighten my dark circles to at least i would say a 25% 25 to 30% uh again i've been using this product since at least a month and a half to two months and i think it's a very nice product this is like a gel like consistency i just put like a small amount over here it's like a transparent gel So what I do is I So what I do is I take it on this finger the ring finger and I just apply it under my eyes The reason why I'm taking my ring finger is because this finger has the least amount of pressure so it's gentle under your eyes Now you want to be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to get it in your eye and other thing is that also apply it like in the inner corners here also this is in a very convenient cute packaging it's like cute small bottle it's very convenient good to travel along with it's not going to spill out anywhere or uh, you know just fall in your bag or anywhere i think it's a great packaging it's a beautiful product by the dermaco the next step in my skincare routine is using a moisturizer again i have two options for you one is the nutriderm moisturizer and one is the tony molly uh, again it's the chok chok green tea watery cream now um, this one even though they say watery cream it's not like a gel like consistency or a runny consistency i'll just show it to you it's like a proper cream I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so it's like a proper thick cream. Now this one is a great option if you have combination skin. Uh, that too, the combination skin that is more on the drier side, or if you have dry skin, it's a great option. Again, this is a little bit pricey, so buy it during sale because that's what I did. Another option is the Nutriderm uh, Vitamin E Moisturizer. Now you must have seen this all over the internet with every. influencer using it along with the dermavie cleanser but i just didn't buy the dermavie cleanser yet um so yeah 
uh, I use the Nutriderm uh, moisturizer when I know that I'm going to be wearing makeup uh, following my morning skincare routine. So that's when I use it. I also use it occasionally even if I'm not wearing makeup because it's a very hydrating product and it's totally worth the hype. So for some reason lately my skin has been feeling a little dry and I've got like a little dry patches here on my nose and near my eyebrows and a little over here. So I'm going to be using the Tony Molly uh, Chalk Chalk Green Tea Watery Cream. So I'll just take a small amount. I'll just dot it on my face. Be very gentle when you're doing this. Give yourself a nice gentle massage. I love the smell of this cream because it has a beautiful green tea smell. Fragrance rather. Also, when you're applying anything on your neck, like a cream or a serum, always go upwards because you don't want gravity to pull your skin down and your skin to sag early. So now that my skin is moisturized, you can already see the glow that it has. The last step in my skincare routine is using a sunscreen. Now you have to use a sunscreen no matter if you're using a vitamin C serum or not. Uh, if you are even indoors now, if you are indoors and uh, you do not have direct sunlight coming in, then you can um, kind of skip the sunscreen. But if you do have like large windows and you have a lot of uh, sunlight coming in, you have to use a sunscreen. And of course, it goes without saying that when you step out, even if it's raining, it's winter season or any season in, on the planet, you just have to use the sunscreen. The one I'm using today is the Lash Shield one. It's called the Lash Shield Physico Matte Sunscreen Gel. Now, one thing good about this is that it does not give you that white cast and it doesn't look weird uh, like purple or anything when you put it on. Now, when you just put it on, yeah, you'll see like a little white cream on your face. But as you blend it in your face, it uh, just disappears and it looks very nice. It also looks and performs very well under makeup. I have tried it. It's uh, true to its name. It's a matte sunscreen uh, gel. But now when they say gel, it's not actually a gel. It's a cream. So I, I really don't know why they've written gel here. Another good thing about this, it is water resistant up to eight hours. And I totally vouch for that. It is absolutely water resistant and it has 25 percent micronized zinc oxide so basically it's a physical sunscreen now wearing a physical sunscreen is very important if you're a breastfeeding mother or you are pregnant because chemical sunscreens are harmful to your fetus as well as if you are breastfeeding because of the chem chemicals that get absorbed into your bloodstream so chemical uh, sunscreens are not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding mothers how you apply sunscreen is you're not going to take a pea size amount because that's not going to make any difference you have to be very generous with your sunscreen so this is how much i have taken there are dermats that rec uh, recommend much more than this but this much is what my skin can take like I take like you know uh, like half my finger so I just spread it all across my face see uh, compared to when I just started applying it it's kind of disappearing into my skin now I know it still has like a white filter on my skin but that disappears as you start spreading it and as you go about your day Apply it also on your ears because that too is exposed to the sun. Don't rub it in too much because then whatever products you applied before this, you're just removing it. So just like pat it. As you can see, it's completely disappeared into my skin. It's matte. It does not make my face look shiny because I still am a combination skin type, but on the oilier side. So I do not like sunscreens that are like goopy and they look very sticky. And if I put my makeup on that, my makeup is going to completely melt. I hate sunscreens like that. So the last and final step in my morning skincare routine is using a lip balm. Now today what I'm going to be using is the Plum Candy Melts Red Velvet Lip Balm. Now this is a great option if you along with a lip balm you just want a little more color as well. You can, uh, I usually wear this when I go out to run my errands and you know for grocery shopping or anything when I just want to protect my lips as well as a little bit of a tint and just to look a little like plump lips. So this is how red it looks. Okay. 
though the plum lip balm is not very pricey but if you still want something that's uh, really cost effective and affordable and if like you know you're uh, college going and you don't have too much of a budget then even the Maybelline baby lips in the variant watermelon smooth lip balm is great it's a beautiful fragrance like a nice watermelon summery fragrance and it's like a clear lip balm it does not have any tint to it okay as you can see it's like a very light pink lip balm and it's also a very good product and it does the job of a good lip balm a nourishing one so with that we are done with my morning skincare routine as you can see it's nice and glowy and it takes um, at least uh, you know a month or two and even sometimes three months for products to actually show up uh, show the results on your skin it is not skincare is not something that you can you know just uh, suddenly get results and uh, things are suddenly going to change if you have to ask me Sanya I just want a very basic skincare routine I don't want all the fluff and 10,000 different steps so can you just tell me what I need to do for a very basic skincare so what I would recommend is five very simple products okay it's a no-brainer face wash you have to wash your face toner okay then uh, an eye cream moisturizer and a sunscreen though is mandatory only you just have to wear sunscreen you even if you don't use any other product sunscreen so you just have to wear because you will see the results later okay in your you may not see the results now where your skin may not wrinkle because you're nice and young and plump but once you start aging that's when your skin is going to be really bad so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful and i hope i could motivate you to start your skincare journey comment down below and let me know if you're going to be getting any of these products all the links to these products are going to be down in the description box so do check them out until next time bye